All right, Shauna here again. And what we're about to do is I'm going to go do the Liberty Leading with Jet. This is Jet here, and he is a four-year-old Percheron paint cross. And this is brand new for him. He has just barely learned what the clicker means, but he has learned what the clicker means. And so the next thing we're gonna do is work on teaching him Liberty Leading. I'm going to incorporate um, where I take one step. I'll show you all of the pieces, what, what it looks like. And I'll talk to you about what I'm doing to help build it up a little bit as we go. And again, it is quite cold <laughs> and brisk. So suddenly, so it is, and it's gonna be hot next week again. But for now, we have a little different demeanor coming from our horses. Like, look at him go. We have a little different demeanor than we normally do, which, of course, you horse people understand. So let's get started. The very first thing they learn, and because we've shifted the context a bit, very good. He didn't, he kind of was trying to just try to eat the food on his own. So what the first thing we do is I would teach him to keep his head to himself. So I like that, and then I feed where I want his head to be. Now, we're kind of cattywampus. I want to line up. Can you come this way with me? Good. There we go. So we can be a little bit square-shouldered. I want to be next to his shoulder. Now, this is a behavior that we call the default position. This is what I want him to be his favorite behavior in the world, is to keep his head to himself. It's still brand new for him, but I'm still going to reinforce it so I can build a very strong reinforcement history with it. Now, as I begin Liberty Leading, I'm going to be building up his adrenaline is going to go up, especially on a day like today. So what I'm going to be doing is very good. I, and I feed where I want his head to be. If his head goes a little high, I might feed a little lower. If his head goes a little too low, I might feed a little higher. Anyway, so as I begin Liberty Leading, I'm just going to incorporate this. I'm going to take one step and ask him to do this again. So we're going to step back. We're going to go back to the back a little bit, and he will stay with me. This is an easy part of the positive reinforcement training. They do stay with you. I just need to teach him how to stay with me. and What does that look like? So come on, Jet, let's go. Good boy. Good. And I like, I click there because I just like that he is coming with me. So that he said, all right, I'm coming with you wherever you are. As we come around, we're gonna line back up here, over here, and ho. And then I wait, good. And could you see how he started, his head and shoulders and neck started to come in towards me. So I waited and I said, and where does your head go? And he straightened himself out because this behavior is so strong. So if he starts to get too close to me as we're doing Liberty Leading, I can go back to this default position, which helps correct his shoulders, head and neck. That's too much, that's better. Now I see him watching, you know, guys doing things outside and that's all right. All right, are we ready? Can we take one step? Good, very good. And you could see the moment I clicked is when I felt like he straightened out a little bit. And you could also see something that I quite like that started already is he was looking at my feet. He was looking at me and my body and what I'm doing. Can we take one step, see there? So that's too much. So I stand and wait for him to actually make a step over there. I feed where I want his head to be, which is over there. So I kind of exaggerate that part. So now since I want him to go a little bit that way, I'm gonna take a step that way a little bit. And I'm using, a lot of times people ask, what am I feeding? Um, mostly I have Timothy pellets and I have some low sugar treats kind of mixed in. He doesn't know a lot of the things yet. He doesn't know, he doesn't like carrots yet. Okay, so clearly that's not something we definitely wanna see. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can't get him to take a right step over with me. And I don't want this to be confrontational. It's my foot's gonna go first, good. And then my body. Did you notice what part I clicked? I clicked as soon as his right foot take a, took a step over because that's really an important part. And there we go. And that was just him putting his head back in the default position, taking his head and shoulders away a little bit. So as I keep, keep drawing attention to that, we'll get more of that. And can we go this way again? Good. And now I'm gonna feed over here. With his big old long neck, he can just stretch right over. <laughs> 
Good. And can we take another step? Good. And so I kind of got to straighten out a little bit more right now. I'll tell you, as soon as I get any momentum going, and this is just the very, very beginning stages, but you get to see what it looks like. As I get any momentum going, I guarantee you he would cut me off because it's just too much adrenaline, too much momentum, too much excitement. So especially a day like today. So I'm looking for that kind of going over to the right a little bit. Good. And then I'm going to take, wait for him to get his head over there to keep reminding him that this is the most important part because this, he doesn't really know it. I mean, he's, he's, he's had a handful of sessions, so he, he doesn't really know it a hundred percent solid yet. We're working on it. Take a step. Sometimes that step's just too little for you. And I'm waiting for him to sort that out a little bit. That's the hay pellet. It's getting a little stuck in his teeth. Good. And I don't know if you can see it, but a little bit, I could see him actually weight his right foot a little bit more as his head went and he leaned out that way. It's just subtle. But I said, yep, that's a piece I like. Okay. And let's walk on a little bit. So as we get to walking, good boy. And I'm going to let him know we're slowing down. I slow down my steps and say, easy. Oh, good. That was really, really good. So if I just stopped suddenly, I would have for sure had him cut in front of me. So I did it in little pieces. I told him I slowed down my step so he could slow down his step and, and get the idea that something is coming. So I'm going to walk a little bit bigger with him and then a little bit slower. That is excellent. That's the first time I've ever asked him to do that. And he did it really, really well. So I'm going to do it again. Let's go this way. Come up here a little bit. Yes. Can we slow down? Good. Can we go this way? Good. And the right hand turn is much more challenging than a left hand turn. We make left hand turns all the way because all the time because their stride is bigger. So it's easier to keep pace with each other. So for him to make a right hand turn and try to keep pace with me is actually much more challenging and takes much more concentration. Okay, my little guy, are we ready? Let's walk on. Good. So it's a bigger stride and slower stride, smaller, slower, good. Very, very good. So I like that adjustability that means he is paying attention to me. He's paying attention to my body. And that is the most important part. One of the things I'm going to ask for is I'm going to ask him to trot, which may turn into a lot of trot. So I'm going to try to ask him to trot. And I'm going to click the moment he gives it to me and slow back down. So I don't let the momentum build and turn into a giant play session. But instead, see if we can't tap into his little energy a bit but bring it back down because he is a baby on a cold day. Are you ready? Let's go. Good job. And can we try it? Come on. Come on. Good boy. So you could kind of see, and I'm going to leave that there. So you could see he kind of went to a, a little bit of play and not sure that he should be playing big like that with me. But he did go, and that was good. So I clicked the moment he went up, but I also brought the energy back down. So that was really, really nice. And I'm going to give him a, what we call a magnitude reinforcement or a jackpot and end a session. It's a way to tell him, yes, you did a great job, and to let him know it's kind of an end of session cue. So perfect.